David Horowitz. David, are you with us? I am. Sorry. I had something to do with that um, incident at Berkeley. In that, that was my campaign. I launched an anti-sanctuary campus campaign with Milo uh, Yiannopoulos as my featured speaker. Okay. Um, and I did it. you, you got to lance the boil. Look, we have a significant portion of our population hates America. We just had a president who despised our country and supported our enemies. The, the real culprits here are Janet Napolitano, who's the president of the University of California, was former, was Obama's Homeland Security Director. She's made it a sanctuary campus. What is a sanctuary campus? It's a, an opposition to the Patriot Act, to the protection against terrorists. Specifically, the ACLU is a longtime communist organization. I mean, I've written about this for years. They're the original sponsors, along with the Center for Constitutional Rights, which is another pro-Castro, pro-terrorist organization, for the sanctuary cities. And, uh, I've got this new book called Big Agenda, Trump's Plan to Save America, and in it you can read the, the resolution. And it not only says don't cooperate with the immigration authorities or with Homeland Security, but specifically it attacks the Patriot Act looking at people's religious affiliations and agendas and associations. And, of course, we're fighting. We, war has been declared on us by religious fanatics, so it's very important what people's attitudes are. Yeah. They, need a, you know, they need to prosecute the Politano and the chancellor of the university, of all the university systems, that make their universities uh, sanctuary campuses. Well, why do we tolerate that? It's just law-breaking. Yeah, well, I I'm... get it. I, I brought up the, the question earlier as to why, you know, in California, I understand it because I understand who's in charge in California. But there are other states across the country uh, where they have majority Republican legislatures and governors where they need to put a stop to this now. Well, Republicans are pussies. Until, until Trump came along, that, that's been the whole problem. Republicans don't fight. They control the Congress. For, uh, we went in record numbers in 2000 and. Uh, uh, 10, 2016, uh, 2014, rather, 2014, and then they voted to fund all the programs they said they would repeal. True. Because they're cowards. They're afraid of being called obstructionist, racist, deplorable. And Donald Trump's, what I try to explain in this book, Big Agenda, his revolution is he's not intimidated. No. by those attacks. It goes right back in their face. You name me one other Republican who on national TV in front of tens of millions of people would look Hillary Clinton in the eye and say, you're a liar and a crook, which he is both. There is none. Not one. And Trump's first agenda has got to be to change the Republican Party. He already has. I mean, if you look, Ryan Priebus, who was RNC chair, is now a fighter. And Sean Spicer, who was... Previous was right hand at RNC. He's a fighter, and that's that's great. That's that's going to bring about a transformation. But I see that the old style Republicans, like Frank Luntz, uh, who is politically clueless, is recommending that they talk about repairing Obamacare instead of repealing it. Well, how can you, for eight years, say you're going to repeal Obamacare and then talk about repairing it? Sure, it's stupid. It's stupid. Well, you know, in, in terms of uh, the effort on sanctuary campuses, you've clearly been shut down there at UC Berkeley last night. Does that continue elsewhere? What's the plan? Oh, uh, yeah. Milo's been shut down all over the country. Look, our campuses are one party state. And forgive me for using this term, but older people will understand it. They're communist states, they indoctrinate students. Students are not required to read texts on both sides of controversial issues. The professors are recruiting them for left-wing causes in the classroom at taxpayer expense. That's what's going on. I can't go to a campus without bodyguards. I mean, I'm 78 years old. I have to have bodyguards because I couldn't, and that's true of any conservative uh, who comes to the attention of the left, because you, couldn't, you wouldn't be able to finish the speech let alone the physical danger. That's the state of our campuses. And 
yes, Republicans control what do they control the legislators legislatures in thirty three states. I mean, I had this at uh, at Mizzou when I spoke at Mizzou, professors giving credit to students to come and protest Jeez. my talk. Uh, and you have a, re- I think you have a Republican legislature. Sure. They, you know, they, they, the appropriations here, I could put his thumb on the oxygen tube of the president of that unit. Oh, you had this terrible thing with these idiots from, black, you racist idiots from Black Lives Matter got rid of your president of your campuses right. over nothing. Right. Yeah? And, and the leader of the protest is a millionaire. Or the son of a multi-billionaire. Right. It's ridiculous. They continue to have... All those students should be expelled. They continue to have problems down there, that's for sure, and I'm hoping... That's because the authorities are advocating. They won't stop it. have no fight in them. Cut off their funds. uh, Sounds like a great idea. (laughs) It does. Well... I'd, I'm going to get a few of them on here and uh, talk to them about that. In fact, David Horowitz, FrontPageMag.com. Uh, uh, what's the name of your latest book again? Big Agenda? Big Agenda, Trump's Plan to Save America. It's an Amazon bestseller. Absolutely. David Horowitz, thanks for your time. Thank you. Yep, I appreciate it. Uh, David's uh, fired up, but but he's right. We have a super majority uh, in in both houses now in Missouri and a, and a Republican governor. They could shut that stuff down if they wanted to. Do do they have the political uh, will to do that?